Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest Wake County webisode. Thank you for joining me each week where we talk about how COVID-19 is impacting us here in Wake County. Today, we're focusing on Wake County Parks, Recreation, and Open Space, and how we've adapted to meet the challenges presented by COVID-19. Joining me today are Commissioner Sig Hutchinson and Wake County Parks, Recreation, and Open Space Director Chris Snow. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. We appreciate you being here. Happy to be here. Thanks, Greg. Good to be with you. Yeah, thanks for joining me. So during this time of COVID-19, we've all experienced stay-at-home orders and restrictions um, on where we can go. And throughout this pandemic, we've kept our parks and preserves open, as you know, um, because they provided all of us with much needed place to play and get away and de-stress. And Wake County residents have showed us how much they valued that service. Park visitation has doubled at some of our county facilities uh, since March, with others experiencing double-digit jumps. But uh, as you also both know, that's not to say that our parks weren't affected programs and events, uh, including some of our signature events like the Longleaf Festival and the Songbird uh, celebration. But in response, uh, our park staff jumped into action, creating Wake Parks from Home, uh, which allows people to enjoy park programming and activities from the comfort of their home. So Chris, this Wake Parks from Home is such a cool idea. Uh, how'd y'all come up with this and uh, what parks are participating right now? So all of this for us was staff generated. Uh, the, this came from staff. We have some really creative and, and, and enthusiastic folks who work for us and they really didn't want to lose touch with the visitors. We have a lot of regulars who come to our parks, as you can imagine. And so they really wanted to stay in touch with folks. And so one of the first things uh, that was done is a, a little short video uh, from one of the Crowder staff, Bianca, uh, and she was at home with her pet turtle, uh, whose name is Leslie. And uh, so she did a, a little uh, webisode, if you will, of her own, uh, talking about her turtle and turtles in general. And it was a big hit and started doing other things, adding more things from there. Thanks, Chris. Um, talk with us about those videos and activities your team has uh, uh, Put together to give everyone something uh, fun to do at, at home. I know there are some great craft projects for our youngest residents. I've done a couple with my own uh, daughters here at home. Um, can you give us some examples of those and um, why parents should check them out? So we we hope we've got things for everybody, uh, all ages. Um, there are a lot of crafts uh, uh, and and activities for younger kids. Uh, there's tours, uh, virtual tours of some of our facilities. Um, there are videos of plants and animals and wildlife habitat. And so not only is it fun and entertaining, it's also a learning experience for uh, some folks. Uh, one of the things that I find addictive, uh, I get on there are the jigsaw puzzles. Uh, these are digital jigsaw puzzles. And once you start, uh, it's like a real jigsaw puzzle. I just can't let it go. And, and so um, uh, I, I find them very addictive, and I know other do other folks do too. Um, again, this is for staff. It was all about trying to engage uh, our visitors and, and stay in contact with them. Uh, we're not getting to see them uh, face to face much anymore, and so just just trying to stay engaged with our visitors. You know, so Chris. Some of our big popular events ultimately had to be canceled, like our barnyard birthday bash that actually celebrated the birthday of our goats out at uh, uh, historic Oakview. But I understand you and staff have come up with a very creative way to celebrate that virtually. Tell us about that. Thanks, Sig. So again, this was all staff, uh, and, and the, the birthday bash is a very popular event at Oakview. And so staff came up with the idea of uh, goat pen pals and you could write the goats a letter and the goats would write back. And so to get a letter though, you have to write a letter. So, uh, and it's been wildly popular. You can write to all the goats, you can write to your favorite goat, whatever you prefer to do, but uh, uh, the goats will write you back. I love that. I think that's fantastic. Now, 
you know, one of the things that we love about Wake County is how green it is in all our natural spaces. And the little critters and animals make all those natural spaces home, including our own backyard. I, I understand you all have a program called the Backyard Buddies Program, which seems to be quite popular on social media. Tell us about that. So just like the name implies, this is uh, plants and animals that you find in your backyard. Uh, there are several web apps that can help you identify things and you can take pictures of what you find. If it's a squirrel or a deer, uh, birds at the bird feeder, and you can upload them to our website uh, with the hashtag Backyard Buddies and uh, show folks what you're seeing in your backyard. Chris, I also understand we have these virtual tours that folks can take. Um, now, some folks may not be exactly sure what a virtual tour is. So tell us what a virtual tour is and what someone could see if they went on, on site and took one of those. Yes, yeah, so uh, the virtual tour is it's downloadable on your phone. Uh, on a smartphone uh, or on a tablet. You can do this from home or you can do it while you're in the park. And there are stops along the way and you're directed to those stops. And once you, once you reach a particular point, um, the narrator, which is uh, almost always park staff, um, are telling you a story about what you're seeing in front of you. And then you move to the next stop. So this is really something that we worked with the GIS department on uh, through uh, through ArcGIS, and so it's it's available online uh, again on a smart device, and do it from home or while you're in the park. You know, and Chris, you've got such a great park staff working for Wake County and you. Uh, and of course, I know those folks love interacting with the, with the folks who come to the parks as well as just being in the parks. And, you know, now with the situation that we're in, I'm sure they're missing that interaction with, with the folks and, and just being in the parks. Tell us how the staff is holding up now. Staff are good. Uh, we're really busy. Um, uh, Chairman Ford mentioned the visitation that we've been seeing some of our parks. Uh, Harris Lake, for instance, the visitation's up 146% from last year, this same time. And so that's a lot of visitors and it's a lot of new visitors and not everyone knows all of our park rules and regulations. So there are always issues and, and we're having to remind folks about what they can do and can't do in our parks. Um, but it's great to see all the visitation. It's great to see the people out enjoying themselves, enjoying being with their families. And so we're, we're really excited. Uh, so I think staff missed the interactions with the, uh, with the public, especially the programming aspects of things. Uh, and that'll come back eventually, we hope. Uh, but it was the first thing that we cut due to COVID because of the interaction and the, the personal face-to-face -face interaction. So it'll probably be one of the last things that comes back, but staff's holding up pretty well. That's good to hear, Chris. Um, and, and as Sig mentioned, um, those interactions are, are so crucial. I imagine um, uh, park visitors also miss interacting with the staff as well. So. Um, tell us what's next for parks. Um, what else is in the works? So um, as the governor's order and as the county management make decisions about opening, we have tried to open back up parts of the parts of the parks that have been closed. Um, our restrooms just recently opened in water fountains, which is, you know, that's that's good to have when you've got big crowds coming to uh, to your facilities. Um, we had hoped and planned to move forward with openings, uh, things a little bit at the time. Uh, the governor staying in phase two kind of put a halt to that for us. And so we're maintaining where we're at right now. But we are trying to think about the fall and what that might mean for programs and field trips. Uh, historically, our parks see a, a huge influx of school groups, uh, that come to the parks in the fall for programs. And of course, we're, we're reasonably sure that's not gonna happen this year. And so we're trying to decide uh, how to best address that. Is it some kind of uh, a virtual tour, uh, a different virtual tour than Sig and I talked about earlier? Is it, is it 
programs like this that are interactive with the students and a staff member on one end uh, being able to answer questions and, and walk you through um, dip netting in a pond or rolling over a log and seeing what insects are underneath or those kinds of learning experiences. Some of that we're going to have to flesh out with the teachers and, and see what they're interested in doing. Um, so a lot of it depends on the school system and their plans, but we're trying to be prepared for that and, and give, the, give the students an opportunity to, to still visit the park, if you will. Thanks, Chris. Uh, clearly, our parks, open space, and greenways are very important to the citizens of Wake County. Um, it's one of our major planks on the Board of Commissioners. Um, I'd just like to thank you both, particularly uh, Commissioner Hutchinson, for your longstanding leadership um, on this topic. Our, our parks, greenways, and open space have, ex have expanded um, um, in large part due to your leadership over the years. And uh, Chris, to you and your staff as well, um, great appreciation um, for all that you're doing to maximize those resources for all of our, our citizens to enjoy, particularly um, in this time. So I want to thank you both for joining us today. and. Um, uh, I look forward to talking and learning more about the exciting things happening in our uh, parks across Wake County. Folks, um, you can take advantage of these great opportunities and learn more about our parks, greenways, and open spaces at wakeup.com backslash parks backslash from home. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time.